two marks questions from the chapter respiration let us go into the questions the first question is what happens if diaphragm is not there in the body diaphragm is a muscular structure which is located just below the lungs what if it does not exist in our body let us see the answer the contraction and relaxation of the diaphragm helps the lungs to allow the air in and out just observe the picture observe the gif which is given here the green color line e it is indicated as diaphragm the contraction and relaxation of diaphragm makes the lungs to take the air in and throw it out if the diaphragm is not there we will not be able to breathe because lungs are not the muscular structures hence the diaphragm helps the lungs to take in the air and throw it out let us see the next question why does a deep sea diver carry oxygen cylinder on her back let us go into the answer the availability of oxygen is very less at deep sea level and we cannot respire in water if we want to go deep sea we need to sustain a lot of time inside the deep sea and also we cannot sustain in the deep sea for a longer time hence they carry the oxygen cylinder let us go to the next question write the differences between inspiration and expiration or write the differences between inhalation and exhalation let us see the answer let us take the inspiration and expiration in a table in inspiration the air is breath in whereas in expiration the air is breath out during inspiration the lungs are expanded whereas during expiration the lungs are squeezed in expire in inspiration the diaphragm is flattened whereas in expiration the diaphragm assumes dome shape inspiration is also called as inhalation whereas expiration is also called as exhalation let us go to the next question what is the role of epiglottis or how the passage of air through the respiratory system is controlled in our body the answer is the epiglottis is a flap like valve that arrest the entry of food into the lungs observe in the gif given here when we swallow the food it closes the passage of lungs and it opens the passage after the food enters into the food tract so it controls the traffic of air and food 